I just returned from New York City where I had the privilege of attending Chase's stockholders meeting last Tuesday and I was able to address the CEO Jamie Dimon and so I started to tell him about how the bank did a foreclosure procedure at the same time they were pretending to help me do a modification and how in the middle of that negotiation they went ahead with the foreclosure. After he said that I would needed to go back and talk to some of the people in the back room that were there to help me, I explained to him clearly that I was not there for myself, that I was representing the thousands and thousands of homeowners like myself who have no voice. When he understood that, he finally agreed to meet with me and some of the other uh, Cisco and Pico leaders to talk about ways about fixing the unobviously broken system. This to me was a moral victory because we're making arrangements to talk to uh, Chase's Vice President of Mortgage Operations which was what the CEO agreed to and um, it's not the end of it it's only the beginning. Our purpose is to have these banks listen to us and start working with people. Start helping people stay in their homes and helping entire neighborhoods. Oh. It doesn't end there. If they don't make any changes, we will continue to fight for all of those who have no voice. We have a divestment campaign uh, which no, will let know. them know by taking our money out are their banks if they're not working with us and we will work with those that are willing to work with us. It so, is just starting now and if anything this is a message of hope for those who before had no hope. And so I know I, we're on the right track. I know we're going to make the difference but the only way we can do it is if we unite and go on this all together as one.